All right, so in this video, I'm making a floor memorial cross. What you're gonna need is what you see right here, which is gonna be green uh, floral oasis. You pick them up from Dollar Tree for about a dollar a piece. So pretty much you're gonna need this right here. Uh, some E6000 is what I'm using to glue the foam together. Uh, one thing that you're gonna do, you want, are gonna wanna make sure that your glue does dry, cause as you'll see later on in this video, I did not let mine dry all the way. And you can see it breaking apart when I started taping it together. All right. So right now, I'm opening up the E6000, putting glue onto the phone. I have tried it with a super glue gun before, and it started miss it started melting the phone. So that's why I chose to use E6000. Okay, now you see right here, I do have all the foam pieces glued together. Uh, I did not let mine dry all the way, as you'll see right here in this clip right here. This right here is going to be white masking tape, which I picked up from Dollar Tree for a dollar as well. You're actually going to need two of these in order to cover the whole oasis. Uh, in the end of the video, you will see that I started inserting the flowers into the foam oasis. I did take those flowers out and tape where the green part was so that we all white around the whole oasis uh, make sure that you get the tape all the way around the whole thing because you don't want to see the back side look attacky at all as well uh there's where the glue wasn't glued all the way and as you can see at the top of the cross as well it wasn't glued all the way uh what i did learn in the process of building this oasis is right there where i'm connecting the glue to the other part of the cross is to tape those joints right there in order to give it more of a solid foundation. Okay, so now that I have the cross taped up, not completely, but just get the grip of what I was doing, just taping the whole cross up. I did want to skip a little bit to cut some time of the video. That way, you're not sitting there just watch me do the project. Uh, I did skip to this part to show one thing, and that is right there at the bottom of the cross where you see the scissors going. You do want to cut that right there so that the tape does go down firmly and completely to the cross so it's not bu uh, bubbled up. Uh, you do that on both sides and every corner that you get to with the tape.
Okay, so now that it, I got the cross taped up, like I was saying before, the green spots that you do see, I did take these flowers back out and pick tape back over these. I just wanted to get a rough draft to see what if the final product would look like before I stuck them all in and, and made sure everything was correctly the way I wanted it to be. All right, as far as the flowers, uh, I think I just used regular white roses that I got from Michael's Craft. Uh, I'm not sure what the name of the flower was. I, I did use roses across the center of the, uh, the cross and across mm -hmm. the edges to, for the filler work. I used, I believe it was synthetic orchids, but these are all synthetic flowers, so these will last forever. You don't have to worry about them dying on you or anything like that. All right. Uh, you can also go to Dollar Tree and get some flowers from there. I didn't choose to go there because this is for actually a catering event that I did. And I just want to use top of the line product. Not saying Dollar Tree doesn't have good products, but I just want to use the best of the best because it was for somebody else. Also, uh, the, another couple of type of flowers I do recommend. I think they're called hydrangeas or something like that. You can get those as well from Dollar Tree. Uh, they do make good decorations uh pretty much if you wanted to you could probably do this project probably for like 30 dollars or less if you get everything from dollar tree uh for me it came almost to like a hundred dollars just because i use quality flowers and per bunch i think it was like 12 dollars a bunch from michael's craft Okay, this is pretty much almost completely finished. Right now, I'm just setting the roses down the center and just put them in a decent spot so it does look good for a final image. Uh, also, to hang these flowers up, what I used was I went to, I believe it was Ace Hardware. I got like six inches of wire. It doesn't matter which gauge you get. And pretty much, I put it through the tape and then through the styrofoam so it wouldn't come out and I tied a knot in the back. And then uh, it, that just went around the, the tripod to hold the whole floor arrangement up. Uh, I purchased uh, the tripod stand from Michael's Crafts as well, and I believe it was $10. And trust me, if you look around, go online, you will not be able to find it pretty much anywhere but Michael's Crafts. So save you the trip, I'm trying to find one. Also, when you insert your flower that's going to be dead smack center of your floral arrangement, you do want the wire to go into the styrofoam and go down at an angle. That way it doesn't go through and through and patrols at the, at the back of the cross. Uh, it actually is a little difficult to get an angle that way, especially when you're trying to bend the wire into the styrofoam. But if you just take your time with it, it eventually just go down. All right, I'm not sure if I said this already, but I did want to let you know around the edges, I believe a synthetic orchid. I did use that to fill in the empty spots to make the cross look more fuller. Uh, pretty much, I used two different color arrangements of the roses that's going down the center of the cross. I used a, a yellowish gold color rose 
and I also use a light green uh, kiwi color rose as well and then I believe that was it All right, I'm gonna jump to what the final product looks like. And this is what I had. And then I decided to actually add more greenery around the edges as you see right there, which I got there from Michael Scrap. I believe it was like $3.99 per pack. It took about four packs of those. Here it is.